is going on, my beautiful people? I am back today to make another video for you all. And I, guys, I gotta be honest with you, I've tried to make this video probably four or five different times. Stuff keeps popping up that makes it where I cannot edit this video. But I made it a point today when I got home from work to sit down and make sure that I get this video done before I do anything else. And so that's what I'm gonna do. What this video is, is I went out to the woods. Let's see, today's February 3rd. So I went out, it was two weekends ago, actually a little over a week ago, so it would have been January 25th, I went out to the woods. So I had left my trail cameras out from December 7th all the way up until January 25th, so a little over a month and a half. Um, during that time, deer season's already went out. It went out in Georgia in January, uh, January the 13th was the last day. Um, I ended up not getting to hunt last weekend. The weather was terrible in Georgia, especially in my area. So I didn't get to go hunting. So you guys saw my last hunt. Um, it was the time that I got the doe was actually my last hunt. So I ended up getting one deer. I've actually already cooked most of that deer. I cooked both of the back straps and the tenderloin that I have eight packs of ground deer from there. Um, and if you guys are interested on how I cooked those back straps or tenderloins, leave a comment below and I'll show you guys how I grilled them. They turned out fantastic. I'm not an expert griller by any means, but I do dabble in that trade as well as the fish tank trade. So I'm sure you'll get a taste of it everywhere you go. I pulled my trail camera cards and I'm gonna look through them and see what's on there. Um, I flipped through them so I know there was a couple of bucks on one of them. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull these cards up and we'll see what has come into them. And hopefully we'll just have some pretty decent bucks that we know that'll make it through the season. That way we can put them on the hit list for next year. Right off the bat, the first picture on this card is actually me hunting on December 14th. And that's something that happened a lot this season was I would go hunting and not see anything. So I wouldn't make it a video. This, I can't tell what it is, whether it's a raccoon or maybe even a bobcat. 594. But whatever that is... I, I really can't tell what it is. It doesn't have stripes. Maybe it's a fox? I don't know. If you know what that is, leave a comment below. Okay, it must have been a coyote or a fox, because here's another picture on December 23rd, 596, and it's got to be a bobcat, or it's got to be a fox, because, I don't know, it could be a coyote, but it looks pretty short to be a coyote. I think that's just a big fox. Holy crap. That's a big hog. I don't need to get that sucker. That's some good Brunswick stew waiting to happen. That's a pretty big coyote. See how much bigger that coyote is than whatever that first animal was? That's what makes me think it was a fox. That's a fat coyote, goodness gracious. So interestingly enough, this deer in picture 622 is standing right where I had that uh, innovation apple. And she stands there for a while. And it looks like she licks on the, the wood itself. Um, so that's pretty interesting from, from my point of view that maybe she can still smell that Wild Games apple scent. If that's the case, I mean, that's a long time for that to be out. Because I put that out, I think I put that out in November 23rd. So that would be December, January. That's two months that that's been there if that's what she's smelling. And it's got to be for her to be in that one exact location for that long. Yeah, and 672 kind of in the background here. I don't know why this couldn't happen while I was sitting in the stand, but there's actually a buck coming through. Um, he doesn't look to be the biggest buck, and he's actually followed by, it looks like another buck that might have dropped his antlers. And then later that afternoon at, or I'm sorry, this January 21st at 5 a.m., there's a decent little two-pointer, or a decent little two-year-old that comes in. You can see it looks like he's in mainframe eight, Next year, that might be a pretty good deer. And then behind that deer is actually a pretty decent buck. Um, looks like we don't get the best picture of him, but you can kind of see him in the back there. It looks like I would have shot that deer with my bow. His belly's kind of sagging. Looks like a mainframe eight. Um, probably three going on four-year-old deer. I don't think that's the one we got a lot of pictures of throughout the season, so I think that's a different buck. I actually haven't seen the one in a while, the 11 pointer that I got so many pictures of throughout the regular season. I hope that deer made it through because he was going to be a hoss if he did. And then here I am, um, and if I'll show this picture. That way you can see one of the products if you have a really quick eye. I flashed it just for a second. 
of me coming to put that product out. So you should be able to get a sneak peek if you watch this video onto that. But if you want to see me try a product, I don't care how crazy it is, I don't care how off the wall it is, I don't care if it's something as simple as corn, uh, leave it in the comments below. Let me know that you want to see that. And I promise you guys that I'm going to try my best to make a video doing what your suggestion is. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm making content. You guys saw my channel. Apparently you liked my content, which is a bless. Because some of my videos, I know they're not the best. But, you know, if you guys want to see that content, I want to make it for you. That way, if you like it, I'm sure somebody else somewhere else will like it. But So that's one card down. Now the other one... I'm going to flip through it real quick. I'm going to see if there's anything exciting. That way you don't have to sit through it. It's got a bunch of videos on it. Um, and I'll show you anything exciting that comes through. Well, guys, I just finished looking through that second card. Bunch of does. Um, we didn't get any really big bucks. There was a couple two-year-olds and then one broken up. But nothing major. Nothing as big as the ones on that first card. So I didn't want to waste your time with that. Um, but I appreciate every single one of you for watching. Thank you for such a great start to this new year. I know I've missed a couple weeks of videos. I, I know I use the excuse that life gets crazy all the time, but guys, I've been so busy. Um, we're planning a wedding, and that is actually going to occur the 1st of May, which is pretty exciting. Um, and I actually just booked my honeymoon, and Candace did give me the green light to film on my honeymoon. Um, so we got a pretty exciting trip planned. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to give you guys any kind of hints, but it's pretty nice. It's going to be somewhere tropical, and I should be able to make some pretty good content for you guys while we're out and about. Uh, it'll probably be two or three videos. I love every single one of you guys that have subscribed over the past of 2019. I started this channel in 2018, and we're going to hit 2020 strong. I'm hoping to get to 1,000 subs in 2020. I know that's a big goal, but hey, aim for the moon. That way you can land amongst the stars. But anyways, I'm going to end my cheesiness. Love every single one of you. Thanks for watching. And always remember, when nature calls, you better answer. Peace.